Hello, Graceland Memorial. Currently, we control your hospital. Someone forgot to patch their systems. That's basically <laughs> yeah. what it comes down to. Uh, why can't I get into the medical records? Oh, have you tried turning it off and Don't turning it Don't finish that sentence, Tim. Who, so by the way, well. whether he's an IT guy or an actor, needs to be fired immediately. <laughs> to regain access to your medical records, you need an encryption key, which well, only we yeah, have. I worked in industries where the end outcome could be somebody who will lose their life. <laughs> Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I'm Tim. Tim Ruggles from IT. You called me. D uh, why can't I get into the medical records? Oh, have you tried turning it off and Don't turning it off? Don't finish that sentence, Tim. Look, this problem's on every computer. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, because plus the cardiac monitor's malfunctioning. Cardiac monitors are malfunctioning? I have to... Yeah, go. Oh, man. Okay. All right, um, so when you remodeled the hospital, the computer systems were all networked, so these malfunctions might be related. I don't care if they're related or not, just make it stop. I can't run a hospital without medical records and cardiac... What? Hello, Grace Long Memorial. Currently, we control your hospital. Hospital, we own your servers, we... On your... Tim, are you saying this? Oh, man. We own your systems. We own your patient's medical records. This is so creepy. To regain access to your medical records, you need an encryption key, which only we have. You will need to pay us exactly 4,932 Bitcoin to retrieve the key. That's a good haul. In a timely manner will cause your records to be destroyed and your systems to... Let's keep our voices down. Hey, Ransom. Yeah. Well, well life's what, at stake. Hey, what, Ransom. What's no. forty nine hundred Bitcoin now? I was just. Uh, I'm, I was thinking. I that's about one point six metric uh, tons. I think. It's it's a lot of bitcoin. It's, I, I, it's I, a I, lot of money. Uh, it's it's topical. It is it is. Uh, I mean, it happens. It it's, happens. It's, it happened, happened last week. It's yeah, happened. It happened oh, last one week. one yeah. bitcoin is six and a half thousand pounds. Wow. Oh, that's okay then. <laughs> Twenty four million ish. Would you get it? Twenty four, twenty five million, maybe. So what? And what's that? Was it ten thousand pound per record on it for breaches? Yeah, about twenty, thirty million pounds. That's an expensive ransom. Yeah. I bet you could negotiate that down. Possibly, possibly. Or look for a flaw in the uh, in the actual software, which is how the or, or the Google NHS. Google for the description keys, and you'll get yeah. half of them uh, yeah. posted online. Yeah. Someone yeah. forgot to patch their systems. Is basically <laughs> yeah. what it comes down to. Someone didn't do Patch Tuesday. Right, NHS was hit a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, there was a, yeah. there was, that was a few years ago. There was a big incident before wasn't my it? time. Right, massive, the, uh, that's right. Massive, a massive incident. They spent yeah. 150 million pounds fixing it afterwards. Yeah. I bet you it's no different. But, uh, but it's still unpatched. So there's still excuses why it's not patched. And yeah, yeah. I'm brought up to date, and I think, I, th I think on, on the flip side of that, here's where leaders in security. We spoke about leaders earlier on. Here's where leaders in security are getting ahead of the curve, here's where they are believing the hype of the vendors and here's where getting back to basics and doing the basics and doing them well yep. will serve them well. It's to your point and your right. issue earlier on, you know. Right. And I, and I think you're right. I think sometimes the, the, these things happen as well because we put so much confidence in technology to keep us safe that we actually don't give it the opportunity to really figure out well, yeah. actually, what would it really do in, in, in real terms? Would it actually work? Is it going to deliver value to us? Because I think that, yeah. um, you know, a lot of organisations, healthcare and in all of the other sectors, buy all this tech and it delivers no value, gives them nothing, delivers no extra security. You see, um, I know you <laughs> posted on LinkedIn about this recently, it's like, it's such a common problem, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And, 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 and the load into the same. So as much as we talk about the con artists who want to get money out of people they're on I mean, both sides them, right yeah know. so so <laughs> maybe maybe not all. you know people pe pe people think i take aim and and uh, just because 
it, it's an easy target. I, I, I do it because I'm, I'm fed up with the way our industry is viewed yeah. by the outside world. And I yeah. do it because I've worked in organisations like that whose only raison d'etre is shareholder happiness and shareholder value. It's got nothing to do with caring about the end customer and whether they remain safe and secure. Right. Uh, and especially in systems such as this where, where, where lives are at yeah, stake. Yeah, the implications are, are, are significant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and I think if, if people haven't worked in industries like that, or worked in industries where the end outcome could be somebody who will lose their life, that, that does focus the mind a, a little bit. So yep. when I talk to people and they may think it sounds a bit James Bondy, I'm generally trying to analogize a situation that's happened previously and explain it in terms that they understand so they get the point of yep. why we do what we do rather than scare the living daylights yep. out of them right. because right. FUD is not the right approach. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, funny enough, it's like, it's quite bad because you think, oh, well, this is just a commodity product. Okay, but that commodity product will then get used as part of an MRI machine or as part of a heart rate monitor or something. So you you have that supply chain issue because you didn't build it in, you know, at, at that initial commodity level. Well, now it gets adopted by yeah. something more specific where there's a high level of risk. That's one. And funny enough, you go, you look at like operational technology, power plants, nuclear reactors. Yeah. They're so used to being isolated, security is not even a consideration. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you get stuff like you know. Stuxnet, where you could actually write something to take out, yeah. you know, uranium production in Iran in uh, centrifuges. Security is an afterthought, and it's that's what's got to change. It has to be the fundamental, doesn't it? It has to yeah. be the place you start, does it not? I, it again, it has to be integrated into everything, yeah. and I think security people, sorry guys <laughs> and girls, um, do a really, really bad job of this. I mean, I, I literally. I remember like introducing myself as the new head of information security when I just started and literally probably 40% of people, their reaction was, they, they literally physically moved back when I told them I was security. That's the kind of preconception that's associated with security. It's blocking, it's naysaying, it's costly. And it, I think we as security people have been doing that for way too long. I was guilty of it in the past as well. And we've got like a really negative image now, and we've just made things so much harder for ourselves. Okay. And that negative reaction of people, we now blame them for having that yeah. reaction. And there's that blame culture, all oh, the users don't get it, they won't support me, blah, blah, blah. It's because you've been terrible to them for the last 30 years. Yeah. And that's why they're acting this way. So we have to take okay. a step back. You've been condescending, you've been rude. You've been sneering when they come to you with an re issue. Recently, Even like a couple of security people. the dynamics people. of this clip as well between the IT guy and Ooh. that. The dynamics are, well, you, you know, it's, they're there to work for me. And it's Who, sort of by the way, lot. whether he's an IT guy or an actor needs to be fired immediately. <laughs> yeah. um, that was just shocking. But yeah, like you get, you get a couple of security, and I saw this just a few months ago, you get a couple of security guys in a room and they just start talking trash about management, and they don't get it, and the users are stupid, and the IT guys, they don't know how to set things up. They're busy building functional stuff. It's up to you, it's your role to have a relationship with them, wow. to make them understand, to, but to also, to make them care, but also to deliver value to them, to make them want to care, and, and you know, have an investment in it. So and, that, and, and I think, so I did something on that recently where I said it's a two-way street and it is, but that two-way street has been heavily focused in the past on, on um, those guys coming to the security party. And because of that, yeah. we now have to tip the balance and the security team has to come to their party. I keep, I keep saying that you as know? well, like how it's a, it's a two-way street and that analogy is supposed to mean we, mo we both meet halfway. Yeah. But you know what, we're at a point where you just go all the way down to the other Correct. side of that street Correct. and you work with them because long term, you're better off meeting them yeah. and accommodating them and making it work than constantly fighting the fires anyway. Yeah. So I don't see it as, oh, but you're, you're making us do more than we should be doing. They should be doing some of the work as well. It's like, you know what? If we don't do it, we're going to be flooded with work anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's just, just it? do yeah. it. Just, just yeah. take that initiative. That's what leadership's about. You yeah. don't have to know or recognize. You do it anyway. You do yeah. all kinds of stuff that you don't get credit for because it's the right thing to do. Yeah. Absolutely. It's like wetting yourself in warm trousers. 
nobody sees it, but you just get a warm feeling. <laughs> Is that on video? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a Christmas gift for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>